Well, I count it such an honor to be here with you, brother. Amen. Appreciate the ones calling in today. We had a couple of prayer requests. And look at here. Brother Bides needs prayer today. He, they found a tumor behind his ear. And uh, their family really loved the word this morning. And a woman needs prayer for unity in her family. And Sister Beulah Harrod is uh, hurting real bad in the body. Praise God. I'm so thankful to know that by his stripes we are healed. Praise God. And all we got to do is believe it, receive it, claim it, and walk in it. Praise God. I thought about an expression that a lot of people say to one another. Well, I've got some bad news and I've got some good news. And many times, Sister Brenda and Brother Ken, people will focus on the bad news. Well, give me the bad news first, amen. And I thought about this this morning. The bad news is, church, that there is an adversary on the land. His name is the devil. He goes about seeking whom he may devour, like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. But the good news is, greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world now ain't that good news praise God and that's what we should focus on is the good news. The gospel is the good news. This word you've heard this morning, it's good news that we can apply God's holy word to our life. Brother, it's good news knowing that Jesus is an advocate to the Father for us. Ain't that good news that we can go to him, we can call to him, and, and brother, he hears our, our prayers and he's like a mediator between us and God. He takes it to God Almighty. That's good news. The bad news is a lot of people don't accept to what the word has to offer today. That's bad news because you're walking in doubt and unbelief but praise God the good news is you can change your way of thinking. You can be renewed in the spirit of your mind. You can accept and start believing what God's word has to say. Hey man don't take man's word for it. The Bible says let every man be a liar but let the word of God be true. Now ain't that good news that we can hold on to God's word and it's truth and it's guiding us and it's leading us and we have all the promises that's appointed to us because simply we believe, amen. That's good news this morning. The bad news is there's a lot of people walking defeated, down and out, mumbering and complaining, sick and afflicted. That's bad news because Jesus, he was wounded. Here's the good news now. He was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him and with his stripes we are healed. Now ain't that good news? Hey man, Jesus suffered it all that we could have life and have it more abundantly. <laughs> he said he come to give, uh, seek the, uh, the sinner, the lost. Uh, and that's good news this morning, amen, because he made a way where they seem it to be no way. Brother, ain't that good news? I'm here to tell you, so, so many people's focus on the bad news, but I made up my mind, I want to project the good news out to people, amen, and remind them that this gospel is truth, amen. You see, people's walking around saying, what are we going to do? Oh, where are we going to go? The answer's still there, and it's good news this morning. The gospel is the good news. God's holy word. You know, if you're walking at a distance from him and his promises this morning and you haven't got the good of the land, that's bad news. It's not God's will. See, people talk about God's will. It's not God's will that any should perish, but that all come to repentance. It's not God's will for you to do without things. It's not God's will for you to be defeated, sick, and afflicted. It's not God's will at all. What God wants you to do is be blessed, be happy, be content, oh, have the good things. 